Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in the world of wheels, out in Milwaukee, and if you come on out, you'll see some great cars. Any world of wheel show, you'll have a good time. I'm with John, John, what's your last name? Crowback, John Crowback. John Crow, yes. say it one more time. Crowback? Crowback. Yes. And John, you've got a car that, uh, well, it's striking red. What's the color of this one? Riverside Red. Riverside Red. Now, you used to work somewhere. Where did you used to work? I worked at General Motors in Janesville for a little over 40 years. And what did you bring here today? I bought a 64 Chevy two-door Biscayne 409. And with the 409 Biscayne, this thing was just built to run. Yes, sir. So, come on back with me. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. How long have you had this car? I've owned it three years. And where did you find this at? I knew a guy that had had it, and uh, I was bugging him for a while, and I decided just he pulled it out of his garage, and the next thing I knew, I said, I'll take it. So that's all, that, that, that's all it took. <laughs> yeah. So what, when you were at General Motors, what was your assignment there? What were you doing? I was all over that plan. I went from painting, uh, from uh, assembly. I worked in the specs office, and then I was a... At the very end, before I retired, I was a driver off the end of something like So you were driving the cars? Yes, sir. That is really fun. Back in these days, it really would be fun to yeah, these cars off the line. That looks great in the rear view mirror. You know, the thing I'll show people from the side, so this is, what, correct me if I'm wrong, a post car? Yes. Which has the post right yes. there? Yes. That's the big car, yes. And I want to show this car from the side. Watch yourself. Thank you. So this back in the day, with the exception of this color, was your sleeper? Yes, sir. I mean, we have the dog dish wheels. That's the key right there. That's the key. I just want to show them. Those are really... Yep. Those are nice. Yes, thank you. Very expensive to replace. Now you have sport mirrors on this. Yes. I see the mirror on the other side too. Yes. Which I'll just go there and show the other one. Mm -hmm. And we'll show this car from the back. Your fuel fill area. Yes. Now this paint job obviously was redone. Yes. What year was this redone at? Nine, uh, 2009. Wow. Wow, that looks great. She, she has held up here. I mean, it looks like a brand new 1964. Yes. Now the Biscayne, there were a couple levels up, wasn't it? There was the Bel Air, there yes. was also two, two tail lights yep. on each side. Right. And then the Impala, Impala. had uh, six, yes. three across each side. As well as the Super Sport. Well, we've got some treats in the trunk on this one. Let's, uh, let's pop that open, shall we? Lots of treats. We start with our rat for our rat motor. That's right. And we are checking so showing me the details there. So they knew exactly what to check. Yes. On these little boxes right here. Mm -hmm. This is this car. Yes. The 409. The four speed, the TAC, mm -hmm. <laughs> radio delete. Yeah. Oh boy. And you have the 64 Chevrolet fax and features manual, the 64 wiring diagram. Tell me why the 61 shop manual. 61 shop manual included the 1964 uh, passenger car build also. Is that right? Yes. Timing on the
But John, did you just collect all this over time? I mean, because yes. it doesn't seem like you've had this car this yes. long. No, I, I collect it over time. So you collected the material and then you got the car? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> And these were in your assembly plants, right? Yes. This was how it was in the assembly plant. Yes. Each station on the line, each each assembler had one of these, and they would take their parts to build that vehicle according to those documents, right? So they just go through and keep building accordingly? Yes. 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 Now, do you drive this one on the street? Yes. This is a street driven car. Because it looks just like a show car. I mean, right. I strictly drive it, you know, street. I don't put a lot of miles on it, but uh, it is not a trailer queen car. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, just, it's just fun to drive. I'm being very careful because this is an original piece here. But I knew that the viewers would want to see some of this. And this is your shift pattern, right? Yes. So back in those days, in the early 60s, yeah. they had strictly just idiot lights. Okay. And that's why I installed the period correct gauges under the dash, as you'll see later. Well, I am looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll keep moving forward with the car. So let's go to the interior, shall we? Yes, sir. All right, we'll close that. Thank you, John. You're welcome. May I? May I? Yes. Thanks. Well, now, even though it's a post car, you know, this is nice. It's all vinyl all the way top to bottom. So yes. it's not, you know, there's not metal or... Right. Right. This is how you do Let me just show that bench seat. You are a member of our armed forces. Yes, sir, the Air Force. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Tell me what this is. That is an, uh, a, a club that most guys belong to. That for most years, 50, 64, yes. Who's your passenger? <laughs> I don't really have a name for him. He's been with me a lot of years. He's been with you a lot of years. Yes. Yes. When my girls were small, they used to love playing with him. Ah. Ah, so the girls used to have them in the that car. That is so true, yes. Now the girls are all grown up. And they're married, yeah. <laughs> Got their own kids. So, so now when the kids jump in, they sit with that. That's exactly right. <laughs> Grandma sits in the other seat. Yes, yes she And does. the kids sit in the back with their old friend. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is great. One thing I really liked the Chevrolet did was that unmistakable tack yes. right up the center. That was 63 and 64 only. Really? Yes. 62 and 61 had a mounted sun tax and mounted on the steering column to the left and 65 on were in the dash. Or on the council, depends what year it came down on. Beautiful. Remember, let's uh, take a look under the hood, shall we? Yes. All right, so we've got our GM water bottle, everything here. Now, there, there were some, this 409, there were some different 409 options. Tell yes. me what we have. This one's obviously the 400 horse. Right. That would be what's all in the prison cam. As well as a four and a quarter horse, so we have two four barrels, same motor. So everything the same other than yep. the dual quads. Yes, the, the smaller motor was a 340 horse. That's yeah. my colleague. Let me just show this over here. Well, while I'm here, why don't we fire it up, shall we?
A lot of teeth, a lot of smiles. <laughs> a lot of teeth, a lot of teeth. Let me listen to the exhaust. children <laughs> well we've woken the place up that's for sure i think we have that's understandable john what a treat what an amazing uh, sleeper well it's hard to say it's a sleeper in bright bright red but what a fun car thanks so much for sharing it on the channel really appreciate it thank you very much for having me i appreciate it